Alright, so here is my 1982 Honda Nighthawk 450 and I just finished my physics project making a hydrogen generator for the motorcycle. So if we look down here, right in front of the engine here, you will see the hydrogen generator. There are eight plates of 4 inch by 4 inch stainless steel punched with eight holes, four holes for the physical holding of it, and then three holes at the bottom, and then one hole at the top for the hydrogen export. Then from there, that goes up to a bubbler container. This bubbler container then gets compressed by the liquid that comes from the generator. It bubbles down, and then the whole cycle starts again where the original liquid comes down through this into the bottom of the generator. So, we'll flick it on here just to give you a quick show. Give it a few seconds and then it'll start to kick in. And there we go. I've measured it for about 1.5 to 2 liters per minute of hydrogen generation. So, it works pretty well. Right here, you can see it all just starting to go in. So for my very first time doing a hydrogen generator project, it works quite well. So from the bubbler container, the pressurized bubbler container, that goes through a tube, through a back flash arrestor, through a one-way valve, underneath the tank, down underneath the seat to a air intake. For electrical, I have a simple switch attached to my brake fluid here on and off switch, just like that. And then in between the hydrogen generator and the switch, I have a fuse, 20 amp fuse. And that protects me from shorting myself and blowing myself up. So anyway, that is my hydrogen generator.